Strange and mysterious though our dreams may seem, it is usually possible to relate them to our past life. But there are some dreams which are not so easily explained. Consider, for example, the dream of Mrs. Wolke, a dream whose meaning could be unfolded only by the events of the future. It was on a summer night in the year 1855 that Mrs. Wilkie saw the name in her dream, the odd and unfamiliar name. Her husband, Mr. Frank B. Wilkie, lay sleeping in an adjacent bed. Frank. Mm. Frank, wake up. Mm. 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 Do we know anybody named Edsel, or maybe it was Esdale? Yes, I think that was it. Good Lord, dear, of course not. What's the matter with you, anyway? Oh, I just woke up a few moments ago, and I had that name in my mind. I dreamed about it. And for that, you wake me up. But it was such a vivid dream, Frank. Oh, it was so horrible. I was woke well, Don't up... tell me about it now, please. I want to get back to sleep now. And with that, Mr. Wookie rolled over on his side and closed his eyes. But on the following morning, when they sat at the breakfast table together... Mr. Wookie raised his head from the newspaper he was reading and inquired in a curious tone. What was that name you asked me about last night, dear? Uh, Esdale or something like that. Funny thing. There is a man named Esdale. There's a story about him on the first page. He lives in Hyde Park. What was this dream of yours, anyway? I was walking along the lake shore and... All of a sudden, I saw a big box lying on the beach. I went up to it, and it was a coffin. And on it, there was a name, that name. I could see it just as plainly as I can see you right now. You're quite sure you never heard of him before? I'm absolutely sure, Frank. Oh, but I guess I must have read about him in the paper yesterday. That must be the explanation. It couldn't be, dear. There was no reason for the paper to mention him yesterday. You see, it was just last night that he disappeared from home. For four days after that, no trace of William E. Esdale was found. And now and then, during those days, Mr. and Mrs. Wilkie would glance at each other, and in the eyes of each would be the same troubled expression, the same hint of fear. But on the evening of the fifth day, when Mr. Wilkie returned home from the office, his first words were, Well, dear... They finally found this chap, Esdale. Oh, Frank, I'm so glad. Ever since I had that silly dream, I've been afraid that... Well, you know. Yes, I know. But they didn't find him alive, dear. He'd been dead for several days. Frank, where was his body? It was lying on the sand down at the lake shore. It would be easy to argue that Mrs. Wilkie had seen the name Esdale some time prior to her dream and had forgotten it. But why she should have dreamed of it on the very night the stranger died, and how it was that she saw his coffin in the very spot where his body was later found, these are questions which are not so readily answered. They comprise a mystery to which no key has ever been discovered. A mystery incredible but true. Thank mm-hmm. you.